My name is Dr. Claudia Sonder and I'm the president of the Napa Community Animal Response Team. And today we are going to work as a team to load and unload horses in a evacuation situation. And one of the key points we'd like you to learn today is that a team that knows exactly who's doing what and where they're supposed to be um, creates the best environment for a safe loading and unloading experience for a horse. We've put together a evacuation team loading video for you that demonstrates the use of three volunteers to safely load a horse. As with all aspects of evacuation and loading a horse, there are moments in this video that are unsafe for our volunteers who are not professional horse loaders. Please use this video as a leaping point for discussion on how to keep members safe and how to work as a team when you're loading and unloading evacuated horses. It's very important before the horse is loaded that the team decides who's doing what. And the lead who will be assigned back at the staging area will usually be the one that is going to walk the horse into the trailer. They will assign a tail person that is responsible for coaxing the horse in. You want to make sure that you close the doors appropriately. And watching the leaders back as they come out. And then they will assign a uh, escape door person. That person is keeping that door available to them, is available to be handed a rope, um, is going to communicate when the horse is untied on the unload. And so each one of these positions is very important for the overall safety of the team. So we need to get this horse loaded up. Uh, I will lead the horse in. Mike, if you would, would you uh, bring up the rear and, and help me uh, coax the horse in? Nancy, would you get the uh, yeah. safety door? So let's go get our safety equipment on and go get that horse. Great. Our lead is leading the horse to the trailer. He has his tail person providing a little bit of encouragement to the horse. Uh, it's not unusual for a horse to be hesitant. Um, you'll notice that when the horse gives, the lead gives, and it is the, uh, the tail person's job to provide that encouragement in sort of a gentle way, not wind up the situation. Um, we're gonna work with the horse. When the horse gives, again, you see our leader is giving. Um, our tail person is gonna stay clear of the kick zone, and they're gonna provide some gentle encouragement. Um, as the horse goes in, the, we have our tie uh, that's been pre-tied. Our escape door person is there ready to either receive the rope or to give our lead a way out. He's coming out. Tail person is going to make sure. Gate's closed. Gate's closed. You can tie the horse. That uh, escape door should be minimally open so that the horse doesn't think it can leave through the escape door. So in this situation, if your door person can receive a rope with a gloved hand, that gives the handler the opportunity to exit without the horse being tied. The back gate can be shut and then the horse can be clipped to the uh, escape loop that is already secured in the trailer. The divider is closed, Nancy. You can latch the horse. Area secure in the back. So this is another option if you've got a horse that needs to be secured, especially if you have one that's likely to jump through your escape door and you don't want to take that chance. And that is an important thing is to talk to each other and say, okay, uh, horse, the um, gate is closed, go ahead and tie the horse. And then the reverse is, okay, um, I've got the horse untied, it's okay to open the gate. In this case, we're going to simulate a situation where we do not have an escape door, and so we're going to need to be able to secure the horse safely with that plan in mind. He's getting some gentle encouragement. His lead is going to go ahead and loop him through the loop and then sh shut the gate without the horse being tied. He's going to loop it over. There he goes. Now he can safely tie. He's talking to his team. The horse is secure. His tail person is looking out for his safety, making sure everything is going okay. And then he can get on out of there safely and we load the next horse. So you're gonna go in and get him out. Mike is gonna make sure that the scene is secured, that there's no one in the way. Um, 
And uh, in this situation, your door person can, again, be assisting the scene to make sure that you can get the horse safely to the corral, okay? So you can have that little conversation and then you can get him out. You wanna do that? So we've arrived at the shelter where he's gonna go down into uh, corral A. So I'll go in and, and get him out. I need the two of you to keep back here and make sure that uh, there's no standby, nobody gets in the way. Uh, he's pretty excited. I think when he comes out of this trailer, he's going to come out pretty fast and heavy. Okay. Okay. All clear. Come on. Here we go. There we go. There we go. When you're deployed by an apple cart at the staging area, you'll have a team. And it's important for you to work as a team to quickly run through the trailer and understand what kind of trailer you have and is the trailer appropriately prepared to evacuate horses. So as a team, it's important to come on up onto the trailer, make sure that you understand how the dividers work, how they're secured, and what your mechanism is going to be to quickly control this area. You're going to want to take a look, make sure that there are no sharp edges, nothing bent up in the floor of the trailer, if possible, have some quick release ropes already tied so that you have the option to go ahead and click a horse. Make sure that you understand how the um, gates are quickly released and that you have knowledge of how your evacuation door works, whether or not you're going to use this door depends on the animal that you are loading. Um, but being familiar with the mechanics of the door, do you have the ability to pass a rope through the window to your door or lead um, assistant so that you can quickly exit, shut your divider, and then have them go ahead and tie the horse afterwards. These are all important things to have set up and ready to go so that when you arrive on scene, you can work as an effective team. In evacuation situations, you'll have access to several different types of trailers. This particular trailer has a ramp, it's a slant load, it's big. A horse that's difficult to load tends to prefer this scenario where they have a lot of space. Uh, you may have a two horse straight load, um, you may have different gate configurations, different latches. So it, again, it's important to um, understand your trailer and how to work as a team within that trailer and also understand your mission. If you've got a horse that's hard to load, make sure that you're arriving on scene with a trailer that is appropriate for a horse that's difficult to load, meaning a ramp, a big open environment, um, that kind of effective teamwork is going to make a big difference. Some of the horses that are reluctant to a load are not going to want to enter into a uh, straight load with a gate or a two horse straight load or a low roof. If you're going to get a warm blood, you've got to have the right height. These are all considerations that you need to discuss back at the staging area before you head out on your mission. Our hope is that this video will give you a good example of how to work together as a team and how to keep each other safe around the horse trailer and the horse.